the governor's office first. Ms. Hicks, what is the governor's long-term strategy for border security beyond the two-year period covered by this bill? How does this bill fit into that future plan? Um, well, I think the things that are being put in place can be, especially if we're talking about the wall, can be used long-term. I think, um, you know, there are lots of conversations happening with the, with federal counterparts, uh, senators and, and congressmen about um, the need for change there. And so I, I think in part, um, the strategy will depend on what happens in, in, in all the um, federal, federal offices and federal law, excuse me. <coughs> um, so I, I don't know that the answer today is to always have as many people on the ground in perpetuity. I think the answer today is um, we'll do what is necessary to protect Texans, depending on, and that will be driven by what's happening on the ground. Um, but someone asked earlier, there are lots of conversations that we have with um, congressmen about seeking reimbursement for the state at least once a month, sometimes once a week. Um, can they get it done? I don't know, but I do know there is definitely interest there and definitely an understanding, at least among um, our delegation, that um, that the state has borne costs that are theirs. Um, and so we will continue to pursue that. And um, <clears throat> I think... I'm sorry, if, if there is a long-term need for the state to stand in, I think the goal of these barriers is to make it um, more sustainable because it can be more easily um, monitored with fewer people. Thank you. Why?